Hey guys, it's Ishmam here from Bangladesh FPC, back again with another C double season 5 war recap. And this was it. This was the war we've all been waiting for. The Bangladeshi community was eagerly waiting to see how the Tigers fend off against the current C double defending champions, Dark Tutor Z, and they were not disappointed. As I mentioned before, we were prepared. We put in the time and effort into the base building and I was really impressed at how well they defended against the powerful Dark Tutors offense. I also mentioned that this is gonna be a high paced roller coaster ride and it was nothing less. There were super highs and super lows for us. In the end with some unfortunate dip fails from the DLZ side, we managed to get the single star victory over them, 132 vs 131 and it was a win for Bangladesh FPC. Quick look at the stats, Bangladesh FPC on the right over here. If you see, uh, we had an awesome 10 v 10 performance, 57% hit rate, 29 out of 51 hits. This gave us uh, I think about 10 scout attacks that really really uh, gave us the boost we needed at the start of the war. On the left hand side, DLC really struggled in the 10 v 10s with only a 39 percentage, 21 out of 54. They required 9 dips from Town 11s and that really really was a bummer for them. Our 10s really gave us the dream stat that we asked for. However, our 11s could not capitalize on the advantage that we had. We went on with a 29 percentage hit rate on the 11 11, 7 out of 24. Well, I would like to give credit to the DLZ base building team on the 11s. They put up some amazing bases, which we really struggled to clear. In the end, we required 5 12 v 11 dips to clear all the 11s, which meant we only had 3 attempts at the 12 v 12s, of which we only secured 1 3 star. On the other side, DLZ had a staggering 47% hit rate on the 11 11s. However, since the 10s did not perform, they had to dip uh, 9 attacks, 11 v 10s, which meant they only had 15 attempts at the 11 11s and they got 7 3 stars. They were still going very strongly, but then came the unfortunate 12 11 dip pills, 3 out of 5. One of our town 11s, Bob, his base defended 2 town 12 attacks, so that was OP base building by Bob, so kudos to him. This meant that uh, DLZ only had 3 attempts at the 12 12s, of which we, they did secure 2. Uh, hats off to Itzu, got the 12v12 six pack, awesome job from him, but in the end that was not enough to get the victory for them. Again, credit really goes to the base building team from BDFPC, they really put in the effort. At base number 5, Bob uh, defended two 12v11s, that was awesome stuff from him, uh, so awesome awesome job. Down here Bentusu uh, absorbed 4 11 11 hits, in the end it had to be dipped. On the town 10s, Res1, Sanjit, Ruposh, and Mokta over here, all of them absorbed 4 hits. Mokta finally had to be dipped by 11. Down here, often Likun, he absorbed 5 hits, so awesome stuff. There were others who absorbed 2-3 to three hits, so overall it was a very good performance defensively, which really gave us the edge. Anyways, to summarize, it was really a roller coaster ride. Uh, hats off to DLZ for the comeback, uh, at what point we actually lost hope but anyways, we did get the win and we now move to 5-0 after week 5 of C double season 5 in the invite division. One final thing before we move on to the war recap, just to let you guys know Balanche FPC is actually still recruiting, we are recruiting base builders only so if you have C double invite or premier experience. Uh, and you think yourself as an OP base builder, uh, don't hesitate to join our Discord server. Uh, the code is at the bottom right corner, PXVATVH, P capital letter, X small letter, VAT on capital letter, VH as small letter. You can also find the code in our client description. So drop by and have a chat with us. Anyways, without further ado, we'll move on to the war cap. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Swimming again.
Find your way back home 